Adventures. Greetings all, Chuk here from Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I have the HK45 Compact Tactical. This is the second best compact 45 pistol, 45 ACP pistol you can buy, and that is because the USP Compact Tactical is way better. However, this is the next best thing. Now, I didn't know what I had, and the guy that I traded my USP Compact Tactical is still laughing about it. He'll comment on my videos once in a while, just like, yeah, you're never getting it back. I traded a full-size HK-45 Tactical for it uh, three or four years ago, well, four or five years ago, and I didn't know what I was doing. He just had this big shit-eating grin as soon as he got it, and then later on, I found out that they were unobtainable. You can't get them anymore. Right now on the secondary market, they're going for like $3,000, if you can even find one. Uh, the big difference between the HK-45 Compact Tactical and the USP version is the USP has better coatings, and it's got the double recoil system, the recoil guide, guide rod with the cage double deal. It's just a lot more robust. This is still more robust than any Glock 21 or Glock 30 that you'll ever find. I'm a big Glock fan too, but HK just takes the cake with everything. So obviously, uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. It does have a cut on it and a red dot. I got the Holosun EPS carry is mounted on there. My buddy said, why did you put a hollow sun on it? That's like putting a true glow on a Barrett or something, but I just really like the EPS carry. This is clear and uh, it's what I wanted to go with, just the, the size and um, I'm a pretty big hollow sun fan. So that's what I got on here and it, it's currently uh, 22 degrees below zero. That is what my car was reading at the range. So we're gonna take a close look at this and we are going to take it to the range and test it out. All right, well, here we go. This was everything that came with it besides the optic, of course, but you do have the removable palm swell deals for the grip there. Now, of course, the HK45 series uh, kind of came as a modern version of the USP series. And the USP, of course, came from the Mark 23, which was a SOCOM pistol made for special forces and guys dealing in the water, salt water. So, you know, this doesn't have all the coating that the USP series has. So it's a little disappointing for me, but uh, it's still kind of an updated version because uh, the grip is slightly more ergonomic than a USP and the polymer feels different. It does have reinforced polymer. It's got, uh, they were very intentional about all the grooves and the contour lines. It's made to be very smooth and anti-reflective with the way they did it. Of course, there are some front serrations here. Obviously, this is the tactical model. They have the extra length of the threaded barrel. So you've got a 4.57 inch barrel. It's slightly more barrel than my full size USP 45. So it's pretty impressive. And they give you the suppressor height sights. Um, obviously I had this milled for the optic and with it milled, you can co-witness. So what a neat deal. I, do, I don't like the, the block, the mag extender right there, a big triangle block. I think it looks kind of dopey but you can get the eight round flush fit mags and for carry, you know, what a wonderful thing. I love how this trigger guard is long to be used with gloves. They upgraded an actual standard pick rail instead of the proprietary ones that the USP had. Fairly heavy, 29.12 ounces, but not too bad. I mean, it's still great for carry. Obviously it's hammer fired with a decocker, just a solid tough system and uh, a little bit disappointed it doesn't have the double caged springs with the recoil guide rod there like the usp version it's just one spring on the guide rod still very robust more robust than a glock or anything else but not as robust as a usp ambi controls so left or right handed you're good just an amazing pistol I mean, what's not to love about these hammer-fired HKs? 
And I got to give a shout out to Denali Arms LLC. He did such a great job. I was over at his shop a few months ago and I saw there were several HK slides with dots on them. I was like, oh my gosh, you can do that. And he's like, yeah, you just got to bring the dot and he's got to fit it and he can make it work. So let's take this bad boy to the range. 22 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Function test. HK45 Compact Tactical. <laughs> it is cold, guys. We're going to see how it does. Okay. Slam shut on its own. I love it. So another mag here. All right, another mag. Oh, didn't slam shut. Interesting. Unbelievable. I love it. Unfrickin' believable. Well, there you go. I put three mags through it, not a single hiccup at 22 degrees below zero, and I ran it dry. I was just in a real hurry. I didn't even lube it up. That's what I expect from HK, though. They, they're just amazing. I, I will clean and lube it now, but what an amazing carry. The only thing I don't like about it is these hokey, uh, triangular, block-like, <laughs> things at the bottom of the magazine here uh, so you can get the eight round flush fit and for carry that's perfect it's got this threaded barrel it, it's this just checks all my boxes i think it's amazing but the usp is a little bit better so let me know what you guys think i am pretty happy with this and i'm going to keep doing videos so become a patron if you can i got links down below and buy a chook hoodie help me out it's chook your friend in the field